In this video I'm going to nail my colors to the mast when it comes to 2012 and the many doomsday prophecies that have been doing the rounds. And I'm going to make it abundantly clear what my so-called prophecies are for that year. I'm going to try to be as inclusive as possible. So, first of all, cosmological impact. In 1911 or 12, I don't remember exactly which, might even have been 1918, something like that, an object exploded over Siberia with the force of a fairly sizable nuclear bomb. That was the so-called Tunguska event. I don't even predict something of that level to happen in 2012 let alone something bigger than that. So, if anybody who has been predicting doom from the skies for 2012 comes and finds a meteor streaking across the sky of Texas, for example, and then starts claiming that that is the fulfillment of the 2012 prophecy, I'm going to laugh at you because people have been predicting cataclysm, not a pretty contrail, or whatever. That's the first one. Doom from the sun, solar flares destroying our communications network. That is what people have been predicting. So don't you dare latch on to some minor disruption of satellite communications, a nuisance due to some medium-sized solar flare causing a bit of static on our communications and say that that is the fulfillment of your prophecy, not when people have been building bunkers and converting their houses and stocking food for months and months and months in the prediction that our civilization will come crashing down around us because all our communications have been destroyed. My prophecy is that if we are going to see any sort of disruption of satellite communications and other electronic communications, it's going to be a nuisance at most if we are going to see any such event happening in 2012. Anything less than that doesn't count. Anything more than that, I <coughs> prophesy, is not going to happen. Earthquakes. Again, we have to consider the earthquakes of the recent past. Obviously, the earthquake quake in Japan, 9.5 on the Richter scale, or thereabouts, didn't count. Nobody prophesied that as a fulfillment of Mayan prophecies. It didn't happen on the 21st of December 2012 either. It didn't even happen in 2012. So obviously we must consider that a magnitude 9 earthquake is not big enough for ancient civilizations to make a prophecy about. Right? So the only thing that could even start to qualify as a fulfillment of Mayan prophecy is an earthquake that has a planet-wide impact and therefore would have to be magnitude 10 or higher. That is not going to happen. That's my prophecy. We'll be lucky. Well, I wouldn't call it that, of course. But doomsayers would be <coughs> lucky if an earthquake of magnitude 8.5 even happens on Earth. But it could. But it wouldn't count. There you go. 
economic collapse in 2012. The euro is struggling. The world economies are struggling. And I predict that they will continue to struggle all the way through 2012. Maybe there will be some glimmer of recovery in that year. That's possible. What we're not going to see is a worldwide economic collapse. And that's my prophecy. So there you have it. These are my colors. There is the mast. And this is me nailing them to the mast. These are my four prophecies for 2012. Will they come true? You betcha.